Hey YouTube, this is Tyler Prepper One. Welcome to a beautiful fall morning. As you can see, leaves are changing, leaves are falling. The news is full of bad news. And as preppers, we like to be ahead of everything. So we watch the news, we, we interpret everything we can interpret so we can have a jump on things. But I've been talking to people lately and I think the negativity is getting to them. I talked to one lady and she said, Dave, I watch these YouTubers and she mentioned them and they, they're always saying there's gonna be a famine, the famine, a famine, no food, no food. So they've been stocking food. She stocked too much food. It's become a point where it's affected her life. Her living room is full of food. She has one chair in there. She has a small apartment, she's on social security. She was gonna rent a storage building to put all her food in and then she realized they won't let you store food in there because of rats, mice, bugs. So she doesn't know what to do. So I told her, you know what? You got so much food, don't buy any more food. Start eating off your stockpile. Yes, farmers are really suffering in certain parts of the country. You got drought. You got ranchers having to sell lots of their cattle because of no water. But there's also parts of this country that's pretty good harvest and they're coming in so yes my my policy has been yes there's going to be no famine this year and that's from boots on the ground reporting people telling me hey my farm is doing good I'm up north I'm over here I'm, I'm getting rain I'm getting a good harvest I have said prices are going to skyrocket and they are skyrocketing going up every day on food so Keep putting back, but when prepping becomes uh, bad for your mental health, you need to stop. You need to stop watching me. You need to stop watching any of the doom and gloomers out there. Um, I can take any news story and make a video out of it and scare you to death. Now, I don't want to sugarcoat it and think, make, make you guys think everything is good. It's not. But you know what, you gotta dwell on some positive things. You cannot dwell on negativity all day long and not think it's gonna affect your mental well-being. So put some positive things in your life or turn off the YouTube, turn off the news. Do something positive. I got blessed last night, just blessed to the point of so much joy. Uh, a lady runs a program that gives cartons of milk to school kids on recess. So I guess this is between their breakfast and their, their lunch meal. They get a carton of milk. And I guess this is paid by volunteers. She gave me the increase of cost. It was like 20 cents or 27, then the 30, maybe the 37. I can't remember. But every year the cost of a carton of milk has been going up. She was blessed because she had 25, I think it was 25 donations into the account at their bank for their small community, totaling $7,500. 100% of this money is going to go to buying cartons of milk to give to these kids. And I don't care what kids they are. If they're green, yellow, purple, pink, I don't care. They're kids. The school district is predominantly all free or reduced lunch. So to me, it brought me joy. It says that people out there care about other people. You might say, Dave, I why am I even living during this time? This is a terrible time to live. No, this is the best time to live. This is the time that your country needs you. This is the time that you are needed to shine a light. If you're a Christian, you have a light inside you. It needs to be shown. People are going to need it. People need it right now. People are suffering. What's coming is going to be unseen of in this country. If we go into a Great Depression, the hunger, the despair, uh, people being cold, people needing things, it's going to be astronomically higher than we've ever seen. We are privileged to be in the United States. I've traveled the world. I've seen the third world crap holes. That's what they're called. They're crap holes. They're just places that are suffering. They're suffering now, but you know what? They won't be suffering as bad as we are because we're not used to suffering at all. We're used to a high standard of living. We're used to everything being given to us on a silver platter. And even if you're poor in the United States, you're really not that poor compared to people overseas it's sort of funny I talk to people oh I'm poor and they got the best iPhone in their hand it's like whoa you, you can't be that poor so I want you to dwell on some positives what's happening to us is a temporary thing you will look back and say wow was it that, that important for a Christian you need to be saying wow 
now I have the opportunity of all these hurting people, they might be more receptive to letting them know the gospel, the good news, that Jesus Christ loves them, that there's a better way, that you can have peace, true peace. So if you're out there saying, Dave, I got no peace in my life, I got a solution for you, I can tell you a solution. So send me an email, southernprepper1 at yahoo.com, and we'll talk on the phone. If you're watching too much doom and gloom news, even prepping channels, and it's affecting you, stop. Put something good in your life. Put something positive in your life. I'm glad to be alive now. There's a purpose for me. First, as a Christian, is to give the good news the gospel. Secondly, I have a YouTube channel. I'm trying to get people prepared. Prepared people can help others. If you're not prepared, you can't feed your neighbor's kids. If you can't feed your kids. Look for something good out there. Don't look for the bad. You'll find the bad. The bad will find you. If you can't find nothing good, make some good. Help. Volunteer. Do something. Don't sit at your house and whine and cry. There's people worse than you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you dwell on the positives. It is a good time to be alive. I needed it this time. I wasn't needed 100 years ago. I'm needed right now. Whatever, whatever I'm needed for, <coughs> I'm going to find it and take care of it. That lunch or that milk program really touched my heart. I was happy to hear that. There's still good people out there. I talk to good people every day. Thanks for watching.